Yo, what is up YouTube? It is OG and today we're going to be doing, well, it's not really an interview, but we are going to be covering the 1600 a bit from last season. So it was done by a Japanese guy. Um, I reached out to him on Twitter. Shout out to Yamada for getting us in touch. His name is Seo Panda. I'm going to drop his at um, in the video description and I'll also pin it and um, it was a very controversial subject because he did get it in showdown and you know He was like completely honest with me and you'll see in the gameplay shared with me as well that he did team um, but I you know, I'm not defending teaming or anything, but um, If you're going to 1600 in showdown, you know, everyone's like a thousand plus at that point um, You're gonna either team or get teamed on so I completely understand why he did team and he did do it with 8-bit and extra life Obviously, they got the nerf, but they're still like really really good in showdown He's catching another nerf in the balance changes that were announced today. I think it's a small damage nerf, but um, He's definitely a shell of what he was when he first came out not to say he's bad or anything But he definitely got a few nerfs and they hit him pretty hard so you can see that he has 22,000 point best 1600 solo victories 10k 3v3 victories um and 500 duo victories so pretty kind of standard stats i'd say for like a global player that's like interested in the game i'm assuming he's global um but i did talk to him and like i said he was getting so flamed on twitter guys i felt so bad for him he's actually a really nice guy um and you know he was like really like appreciative that like I talked out I talked to him and like I wasn't like roasting him about it. Um, so I did feel really bad for him because I find that the people that were flaming him the most were either people that used matchmaking bans, which to me matchmaking bans are the same thing as teaming, or other showdown teamers or like ex showdown teamers I guess. And then just like all their like fanboys that like you know just kind of jump in because they see like one of their friends making fun of someone so they think it's cool. So. That whole situation just kind of pissed me off because it's not like he did this with malintent. Like, I'm not, <laughs> it's really hard. I'm not endorsing teaming in any way, but you know, showdowners can play the game how they want. Teaming's allowed, the devs have acknowledged it. As long as it's not like organized team, there's not like 10 people sitting in a call. It's just part of the game. So I think we can just get into the gameplay and I'll talk over it a little bit and you guys can just see what matchmaking is like at 60. Well, I think the clips are from like 1500 or something like that, but you guys will get to see and what the plus minuses are like. So let me get the gameplay for you. All right guys, so this is the gameplay and like I said, um, you can see that he is going for a team right now, and, you know, as long as it's not organized, which I've talked to a few people, and they've all said that it wasn't, like, on the Asian server. I don't trust people who aren't on that server's opinions. Um, so you can see he's going to team up with his 8-bit, and they'll just kind of control the mid for the rest of the match, pretty much. and. You know, 8-bit is obviously really strong and really solid on this map. So his strategy, like I've watched the videos once or some twice because I tried recording it. Um, and then the audio on the video was just like so loud. I forgot to like mute it and I still don't know how to mute it. Like, so I'm doing it separately and Tom going to have to sync it. He probably hates me for this. But you can see he does take out the bow and him and the 8-bit are just like teaming the middle and everyone kind of has to go to them eventually right because of the gas that's slowly coming so they're slowly running out of walls and it's just going to be a shooting range for the 8 bits pretty much but a lot of the gameplay is like this like he'll be in a team and you know what he was like like i said he was really straightforward about him teaming and again as long as it's not organized i don't like you can't complain about it too much because the devs have like acknowledged it and said that it's fine as long it's not organized like 10 people in a call teaming so you know it's part of the game at this point and like i said earlier i don't see a difference between teaming and like creating a matchmaking band and getting like all these good players in it because to me they're both making the game easier and you know if anything teaming's more practical just because it's the mode matchmaking band is just you going out of your way and doing it so you can see it's just him in the 8-bit they're gonna fight it out because that bull is definitely gonna go down so that's gonna be it pretty much for game one whoever dies first on the 8-bit is gonna lose so he'll place his turrets and like kind of body block a bit the 8-bit knows he lost already because he still has his extra life so he's gonna take first in that game and i'm pretty sure it's plus i want to say plus four 
it shows the plus minus in one of the future videos so we'll just have to get there get it there but i'm pretty sure it's plus four for first place at um what he's at which is equivalent to what the old siege was like currently right now if you're doing 3v3s at this top range i think once you hit 1100 plus it's all the same plus minus wise but um it would be plus three so you get one extra run from showdown but obviously there's a greater risk from showdown and i'm not sure what the match ranking was like for him again it's on the asian servers so i don't know what that's like personally um but when YDE and Skyrix got their like 1500s, they said they were going for like 25 minutes in Siege, which was by far the most popular mode at the time. Like they did have a bunch of tops in their band and stuff, so that might have slowed it down a little bit, but 25 minutes is an insane amount of time. So I'm guessing his was probably comparable to that because Showdown, I'd assume there'd be like less people, but then again, it's also on the Asian servers and this game's like nuts in asia um i'm not sure who exactly the japanese he is japanese by the way i'm not sure who they get matched up with but i'm assuming the koreans and obviously the game's like insane in korea so i actually watched this game before and <laughs> the crows just like have this alliance and he like manages to sneak in on it then i think the end is just kind of like a mess but i forget it to be honest but um yeah guys, it's kind of died down a little bit, um, like I said, I tried recording and it got screwed up, but he was just getting flamed so hard on Twitter, and you know, some people handled it really well, like, YD, I know it probably sucked to see someone beat his record, and showdowning, like, it should be a different record to be honest, like, YD and Skyrix still have like 3v3 records for me, uh, well, obviously the 3v3 record um but showdown you know it's not really synonymous with 3v3 so i think they're kind of different records in that sense so yd was like really professional about it he just said like all i saw from him was like a really surprised face and i know he got him on his channel too for a 1v1 um i didn't watch the video but i heard yd won like for nothing so but this guy never like claimed to be a pro player <laughs> he just likes playing showdown with 8-bit i guess so you know I think it's kind of silly that everyone's getting mad at him, like all these pro players and stuff, like all their like little fanboys, um, because he doesn't claim to be a pro player or anything. So that game actually does get cut short. I'm not sure what happened at the end, but he got like at least like top three, so I'm pretty sure that's a one guaranteed cup. Um, and yeah, you can see 8-bit is really popular, so they're just going to kind of control the middle for this entirety, and everyone's going to have to come to them. They're, they want... Um, join the 8-bit team but like everyone will just get blasted pretty much so they're gonna bush check until they like find everyone and then just kind of zone them out and like wait for um the gas to draw them in slowly again he's probably in no rush right now he was just probably like fresh out of like a long 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 match breaking time so he's probably just enjoying like being able to move even if it is with 8-bit and he's fairly capable of moving anything is better than that matchmaking screen um when you're doing one of these pushes so you can see the eight bits know if they just betray each other that they're gonna throw the game so it's kind of working together for a common cause i guess at this point and because they all have extra life right and if one person sees an eight bit turn on the other you know they have a fair bit like amount of hp and damage so odds are he'll get like a full clip and just take him down to half hp and then he'll like come back with his extra life and everyone's just gonna start collapsing on them so you can see everyone's kind of like picking them off they all know the 8-bit are going to be the top three unless they betray each other so they're all just trying to get like as high as possible and the 8-bits are going to pinch out sandy um so i think it's just them and the shelly now and you can see the two 8-bits turn on the seven star power or star point and power up <laughs> too many points and powers um but they turn on the seven power up 8-bit and at this point you know it's kind of gg even though the 8-bit spawned in that guy just wants third at this point. I don't know if that 8-bit's gonna give it to him though after he tried betraying him, so he's not. He's gonna take him out, and um, you can see he's still mad at <laughs> CO Panda for trying to betray him, but I think they do end up going for the Leon here. Or the Leon's just gonna die from the smoke, and CO Panda does have his extra life, so he pretty much got second place off that, and you know, at this point, there's nothing else you can really do. So turning on that 8-bit was definitely the right call. They just couldn't execute it. Um, and he will get second this one and i think it shows how much he gets i think it's plus plus three for second so that's not too bad that's equivalent to a 3v3 win at this cups 
All right, I think this is the last game. So you can see he teamed with another 8-bit. And I'm pretty sure, I haven't, like, I can't really remember the names too well, but all the characters, they look different. Like, it's different 8-bits every time that he's teaming with. And there might be a few other people that are, like, the same from the games. I haven't, like, really analyzed it. But it's, like, when you're playing really high brawlers in 3v3 too, you do face the teams, like, the same teams over and over again. So I'm assuming it's kind of like that with showdown and just giving him the benefit of the doubt and saying he didn't organize team because i've talked to a few people and they all said he didn't so i'm gonna trust their word on this one you can see it's the same map so they just want mid control and they have this like little alliance so although we don't like teaming at this cups like i said earlier someone's gonna team so it's either you're on their team or against their team and you know i'm sure he wants to be in the majority even though he does initiate it a lot of times if he doesn't then someone else is just going to do it um so then he'd be in a bad situation and not a favorable one to push his 8-bit to 1600 so you can see they're zoning out the mic and everyone's just they have this mid control right so they're letting the guys on the outside pretty much fight amongst themselves and um then they can just kind of pick them off if they do come in there uh, line of sight. So the Shelly's, you know, <laughs> in Showdown, I found that if you're the same brawler as someone, like, they'll more likely want a team with you. Um, I don't know what it is, I guess, just similar pace, like, team with each other, I guess. So you can see they did shoot the Pam there, but they chose not to take him out. Um, and it's just they're focusing on the Shelly's right now because they both have super, I think, or one of them did. So they get turned on them really quick and you can see CO Panda just kind of like hangs back um, He will take out that one and I think people go for the 8 bits last just because their damage output So they start freaking out at this point like I guess one of them gets claustrophobic I think it's the Sandy yeah the Sandy just goes for it and Sandy gets taken out second and CO Panda is just there to clean up Obviously the extra life's coming in that 8 bit like knew he lost already uh, He didn't have any shots he didn't have any power ups so nothing you could really do there and Panda is gonna get first and it's plus five actually okay so that's pretty good plus five is definitely a solid way to push but obviously he's not getting that every time so I guess it does kind of even out and again I have no idea what the matchmaking's like my like stance on the situation is I don't support teaming but I also there's a lot of things that I don't support so I'm not just gonna like list what I like and dislike um and just judge everyone off of that so you know Obviously, a lot of people are saying like, oh, your record's like crap, like you just like showdown team, like anyone could do that. Like, I don't think I could do that personally. Um, and I know for a fact, like 99% of the people that say that couldn't do it either. And they're just kind of like going along with what their friends are doing. And I don't know, I just think he got like way too much crap than he deserved because he actually is like a nice guy. And um you know he was like really genuine with me and i could tell he was getting triggered and like i said it's just a bunch of hypocrites like people that like either use means that like make matchmaking easier for them like matchmaking bans or like just people that like have showdown teamed for like the past year and just stopped like a few months now and just like rip on people on twitter all day about it so i mean everyone knows who they are i'm not going to say any names it's just like really like Take a look in the mirror before you start judging people like crazy, I guess. Um, and that's my stance on it. Like, again, I'm not supporting showdown teaming, but he is a nice guy. And I do think that his record, despite the teaming, was actually hard to get. Um, like I said, I don't think I could do it. But I know this video is probably going to be really controversial and people are going <laughs> to probably get like <laughs> triggered in the comments. But, um, you know, I thought this was something interesting and I wanted to cover it. And he was nice enough to let me. Um, so I'm going to drop his Twitter in the description and in the comments, I'll pin it as well. But please guys, if you are going to visit his Twitter, just be respectful. Um, everyone's kind of moved on from it now a little bit. Like I'm sure he's still getting some messages here and there, but, uh, just be respectful if you are going to reach out to him. Yeah, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. And thank you so much for coming out and watching and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.